Hey guys, so this one is going to be brought to you by the company Hair Vivi. I work with Hair Vivi when they first came out. I no longer have that video up because they don't even have that wig available and the company did revamp so they started doing different things. So it's been that long since I worked for them. So this is a box that they sent me. It comes with a wig cap. It also comes with a comb. It comes with some instructions and then I believe it came with a clip also. And then I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap construction. I will also leave a timestamp on my latest live video because I did try this on live for my subscribers to see what it looked like straight out the box. And I'll insert a stock photo of what the company has on their website. But this is what the bleach knots look like. So I'm super happy about that. You do get a pre plucked hairline. They also add in an adjustable strap for you, an elastic band, and then you do get your combs and your soft lace. This is what the unit looks like when it has been washed and dried. And there's the soft lace and the combs and the adjustable strap and the elastic band. And I do have a lot to say about this wig. I have some pros, I have some cons, and I'm just going to overall give you guys my honest thoughts on how I feel about Hair VV wigs. Some of the unit that they sent me is called Debbie. It is their wet and wavy bob human hair wig. It's 16 inches, 150% in density. With the cap construction, you do get your five by five lace front cap it is a glueless lace front cap so if you don't want to have to use any adhesives you don't have to this unit does come with bleach knots all throughout the wig and then it also comes with your pre-plucked hairline as far as the cap construction goes this is a medium cap size i will say that this is pretty you know it's fitting on me like if i would have gotten a small this thing would have not stayed on my head i'm just being honest in fact i could honestly take off the um, elastic band just because it is a little bit snug now i did adjust my adjustable straps in the back and it did not come up all the way so eventually i will undo that if i want to wear this out for another day but i just want you guys to be very careful when you are ordering your cap size with this company you will see me just trying to adjust the cap and make sure I pull it up good enough so that I don't have to worry about it like sitting too far back. And then I will also show you guys what it looks like on the side just so you can get a good idea. But like I said, if I was to just take the adjustable straps out in the back, I think it would fit me perfectly. So it's not an issue for me, but for somebody who has a bigger head and they may want to order the 22 and a half, they might want to look into getting a larger cap size. I was unsure of how I wanted to style this unit, which is why you'll see me going back and forth. Now I did wash this unit. I didn't have any problems when washing the hair on this unit. I didn't even get any shedding. The hair was very soft. However, it came different, of course, in the pack. It had a more tighter curl pattern and then it just relaxed into this nice, wet and wavy look. I will be using some free spray in the very, very front because as you guys can see, it's just flopping up a little bit and I don't wanna have to worry about it doing that. So I'm just adding a little bit of free spray. I didn't even need a lot and I'm just going to work it in using the end of my rat tail comb. Do want to manipulate the parting on this unit and move the hair around. You will have to re-wet this hair to give it the wet and wavy look again just because it did start to look dry in certain areas because I did manipulate it. But it looks good once you start to wet it and don't play with it too much and just let it set, which is one thing I will say. So now I'm just going to go in with the wand curl and just kind of flatten everything out. The wig did lay very flat. I had no issues with that. And as you guys can see, the hairline looks really good. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Sleek and Shine Serum to stop any type of frizziness. And then I'm going to get up close and show you guys what the hair looks like as far as the parting space and then the bleach knots. So you do get your five by five parting space. I felt like mine was a little bit short, maybe more on the side. It had more parting space in the middle. And then as far as the bleach knots go, I do have on a redder cap, but I did try this on with um, a lighter cap. It still came off a little bit brassy. So you can easily go in and put some purple shampoo on. I don't know if they are doing that at the company because I have seen reviews where some people's look good and then some people's look very very orange so you can always go in with a lighter powder and kind of fix it up i do appreciate the company even offering to bleach the knots because some people 
just don't want to do that. They don't have the time. But like I said, it can come off a little bit brassy, especially on certain units. As I already showed you guys what a side part looks like, I want to give you guys another style, which is going to be the middle part. Since I already had that part trained to be on the side, I am going to have to go in and retrain it to a middle part. So I'm just using my spray bottle and I'm just re-wetting the hair because I want to give that wet and wavy look. To me, I like it when it's a little bit wet. And then I like for it to set. That's how I like this hair to be because I feel like that's it's meant to be that way. I'm just going in with my Lotta Body Honey Milk. This is for curly and wavy hair. It, it does have a medium hole to it. And I'm just putting a little bit up in the front top section. And I'm just going to make sure to comb over that and let it set. And then I'm going to tie a scarf on it and just kind of do some other stuff around the house. That way I can give it time to mold. And then I'll come back and take the scarf off and just see how it looks. Really good once I take the scarf off. So I'm just gonna kind of fluff it up using the end of my rat tail comb because I don't wanna disturb the hair and make it frizzy. So I'm just going to do just a little bit to see how it's going to look. And as you guys can see, the parting space and everything is coming all together. I just added a little bit of powder in off camera and it looks really good now. It still looks a little bit on the orange side, but not like it did when I first first showed you guys what it looks like so it definitely can be worked with that is what it looks like tucked behind my ear the hair density on this they say it's 150 percent I feel like it's more on the 130 side I don't feel like it's as thick but this will be good for somebody who wants to wear something every day that does not require a lot of fuss because this unit is very low maintenance I will say that as far as tangling goes this unit did snag some in the back and then once the hair gets older it will start to get frizzy I will tell you guys that so you are gonna have to moisturize it to keep this type of look going overall I think that this wig is cute I did have some cons on it but I feel like the cons for this particular unit I could work with it wasn't too much that turned me off from it now the shipping on this unit did take a while so that's one thing I did not like but the company did apologize about that so make sure you guys check out shipping times with the companies that you order from if you guys plan on purchasing from the company make sure to do your research 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 if you are interested I have a coupon code that I will leave you guys down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification button, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.